Late last year, Speaker Pelosi and House Democrats sped through a slapdash impeachment of President Trump in 12 weeks because they insisted the need to undo the 26th election was urgent. Urgent, they said. Since then, the same people have spent three weeks dragging their heels and refusing to proceed to a Senate trial. Supposedly, the explanation for this shameless game playing is that Speaker Pelosi wanted leverage, leverage, to reach into the Senate and dictate our trial proceedings to us. Now, I've made clear from the beginning that no such leverage exists. It's non-existent. And yesterday, we made it clear it will never exist. A majority of the Senate has decided that the first phase of an impeachment trial should track closely <clears throat> with the unanimous bipartisan precedent that all 100 senators supported for the first phase of the Clinton trial back in 1999. There will be no haggling with the House over Senate procedure. We will not cede our authority to try this impeachment. The House Democrats' turn is over. The Senate has made its decision. The 1999 precedent does not guarantee witnesses or foreclose witnesses. Let me say that again. It neither guarantees witnesses nor forecloses witnesses. It leaves those determinations until later in the trial where they belong. I fully expect the parties will raise questions of witnesses at the appropriate time. And I would remind my friends on the other side, I strongly suspect that not all the potential witnesses would be people the Democrats are eager to hear from. So the Senate will address all these questions at the appropriate time. And that is for the Senate and the Senate only to decide, period. 